welcome to Backstage V, 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 VIP because uh, I'm with my sister on the Aphrodite tour and I'm in your dressing room. We're in the dressing room. Now, do you, know, <laughs> do you know what people would do to get in this room here? I've just had to go through a million security, had a guy say, where is your pass? No, I, I was think, like, I actually think that's because they wanted to do the, ma'am, the pat down. we need to pat you down. And I don't think it was... <laughs> there was ulterior motives there. Okay, yeah. I was like, I, I could stick my pass on, but uh, no. I Blonde just had wig and you'd be on stage. So backstage, I know you can't see everything from here, but mm -hmm. just talk us through it. Because you're on stage, uh, you're on tour for how long? About a year. Overall, the best part of a year, if you include rehearsals and, you know, shooting for the screens and all that kind of stuff, I would say a year, but on the road, best part of a year. Um, dressing room, try and make it um, kind of as continuous. It's very Kylie Con at home, I notice. It's, uh, it's awfully Kylie at home. There's a lot of branding going on. And I only Keep know talking, I everyone's <laughs> listening. <laughs> I only know this because I've received lovely Kylie Oops. at home package. <laughs> yeah, so we take this everywhere. We take um, my famous pink road cases. Road cases kind of represent your life on tour and Normally, they're just doldrums, black, roadie cases, which I love. Roadies, don't hold it against me because I love a roadie road case. Oh. But I decided to have pale pink ones with a nice camel colour lining. Well, it's Aphrodite. It's got to be all feminine and beautiful. And so what was... I remember getting the album. It was like Aphrodite in the most beautiful cover and everything. But I actually don't know where all the inspiration came from, why the album is... Aphrodite. What? Uh, because fortunately, Narina Palo, very talented singer songwriter, wrote the song Aphrodite for me. Okay. I would love to say that was my genius idea and I had the whole concept, but no, she delivered this Edit. song. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty overload. Um, and through the process of making the album, some songs stick and others kind of fall by the wayside. And, and I really hope that Aphrodite would be in there but it became a real visual thing like I know Willie mm -hmm. who does all your creative designs for the tours and um, photo shoots and stuff it just seemed like it just then flowed throughout everything really easily yeah it's a great launch pad to for, for the visuals I mean Greek mythology over the top I mean it was, so, it was brilliant I think he referenced a lot of um, well classical sculpture uh, Fellini film, Folly Berger, Busby Berkeley. It's all thrown in there. I actually haven't seen the concert yet. I'm about <laughs> to see it. I know. I'm on in, what, half an hour? I know. You've got oh. to go. But um, I, I hear from everyone, and this is straight up, mm. that is the best tour ever. And what I've loved, like following on the tweets and stuff, mm. is the interaction with the fans. And there's a prize every show for the best dress. I actually, I did try. I made an effort tonight. I don't know if I'm in there for the Unless prize. Unless your fairy wings are going on when you, when I see you in the splash zone. <laughs> the prize could still be yours. It's a Kylie at home candle. <laughs> actually, there's three prizes tonight. And I do it myself. I, I get the goods in, sign them, take the picture on my camera, upload it, put the tweet message. So it's just what hands she's on. like. Yeah. Nice. So backstage, just quickly, the most important things, you've got all your pictures here. I know a family, we all sent photos to yeah. you. Yeah, before opening night, that was, I guess you kind of have a, like a nerves focus. And mine was, I need pictures from the family because I'm far from home and- And we couldn't be there. And you couldn't be there. So emailed you guys and um, yeah, you all sent through pictures. Daggy Which, pictures, mind you. Yeah. Good. Good. You just proper daggy. This is not pictures. down down your super high street um, getting a family portrait done. This is really daggy family pictures. So they were promptly printed, laminated, and they go on my road cases every night. I'm so yeah. excited. And um, um, it's permanent. Another quick, I'm just trying to cover everything here. Another quick beauty thing. I don't think people would realise, but you do your own makeup mm. for your concerts. Mm. Unbelievable. I've just seen yeah. the whole table with all the, the makeup. It looks I a bit like stole a stole some bronzer. Okay. <laughs> so if you find any bits missing tomorrow and yeah. you're like, where's that little bit? It's yeah. um, Speed in dial. my purse. Um, I love doing my own makeup. I've, I, my first tours, I did my own makeup because I it was way beyond my reach or 
dreams to have a makeup artist on tour, so I would do it myself. And then as we progressed, I had different makeup artists and uh, they were lovely and they added a lot to the, the show. But then I reached you a certain point. You learned all the tricks, you stole them and then that's true. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but now I, I actually don't want it any other way because it's become part of the process of getting ready and the ritual. Becoming that Is person. there any... Because I see a lot of stuff backstage before you go up mm. on, but is there any superstitions, any rituals that you do that y you have to do before every show? You mean aside from the, s the shot of scotch? Aside from that? Aside from or the scotch? Was that it? Because um, I was trying to think through my mind, what is it, what is it? There's, it's you get it's nothing really. It's probably Shawnee, my tour manager, coming around and giving the 10 minute call. 10 minutes of showtime, everybody. 10 minutes, I thank you. I mean, you will probably hear him as you heading back when up. When do you get nervous? At which point? Um, uh, 10 minutes, I think I start to bubble, start to ramp up. Um, I'm a little nervous tonight because it's the last show in the European leg. We're also filming in 3D. We filmed last night and we're filming tonight. And so I have a 3D TV at home. Work! So, um, and it's, it's kind of a mixture of elation that it's the last show and we've done so well and the whole team of, you know, it's months of your lives together and everyone has ups and downs and, you know, life within the tour bubble has, presents its own kind of highs and lows as well. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's certainly not the end of the Aphrodite tour, but it is our, it, it is our first milestone the first actually the second one the first one is opening night so this is an achievement and it's being recorded forevermore so you're gonna head down to Australia I'm gonna be there do you know what we'll do I get we to see so many more shows we will do another a catch up. my daily from down under so send me your questions that I have to ask I'll pick out a couple of questions and we'll do that I'll let you get ready for the show now thank you yowza 10 minutes everybody 10 minutes to show time I thank you all 10 minutes 10 minutes you know how I said I was trying to win the uh, dress up competition um, is it is it actually going too far if I steal one of the costumes no great <laughs> disqualified